In this video, I'm going to share with you the best themes that I've come across for LearnDash and more specifically LearnDash version 3, which was just released a few weeks of recording this video and it totally changed the game for having online courses on your website. And so it's good time to take a fresh look to see what themes work best with LearnDash version 3. Now, if you're new here to the channel, I have a ton of content on LearnDash, including a full setup video. So you might want to subscribe and click on that notification bell if you're going to use LearnDash or interested in using LearnDash. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now, the best news I have for you in starting this video that LearnDash version 3 brings a fresh new polished user interface and user interface elements as well as a dedicated learner experience what that means is when your students go to take your course content it creates a different experience from your wordpress theme now the huge benefit is learn dash is probably going to look great with any well-coded theme so the first theme for learn dash really is the one that you have you don't you, you can first try it out with the theme that you're using and then you can decide if you want to look at some of these other things so you might not need to change anything at all and this is actually one of the things i love about learn dash this new version so here's that learner experience uh, this is a website that i have with learn dash and you can change the theme to whatever and it's pretty much going to look the same way so we have this dedicated learning experience right here uh, where your students can hide this panel of lessons, quizzes, topics, and all of that kind of stuff. And there's even some elements up here that are really good. So you can, your students can see where they are in the course. They can jump to the next lesson. And right here, you could actually control what uh, menu options are right here, the student's avatar, and you can change this as well. So this is how it's going to look pretty much on any theme. So the number one theme that you can use or the first option is the theme that you already have if you like it. Now putting that aside, there are some themes that are doing different things with LearnDash and enhance the experience or just make it smoother and easier. So let's go ahead and go through these now. Now I'm going to have links to everything down below in the video description box. And if there's a referral program to any of these themes, I will use a referral link for sure. Uh, when you use those, it doesn't cost you anything additional, but it just goes to help support what I'm doing here on the channel. Uh, but no obligation to use those, and it definitely doesn't influence my opinion in any way. Okay, the first theme is going to be the Astra theme. Now, the best part about this theme is it's going to be completely free, and it also has a demo that might look familiar to you because this is the learn dash demo and that as well is completely free and as a matter of fact if you're watching this video today when it first releases in about six hours i'm releasing a two-hour tutorial on how to set this up learn dash all of it and it's going to look exactly like this so uh, astra is doing making some moves here and there to make it easier to uh, uh, implement a learn dash based website so here's what your home page is going to look like and here's the um, learn dash course grid right here one, one or two clicks and you have this website uh, here is what it looks like on the all courses page then right here is the course index page and here's one of the things i like about learn dash check this out if you are here and you want to take the course you click this button you get this branded uh, registration or login form so your students can log in and your new students can register right here it's very nice and very slick and it just looks good and here's your course index page but like i said uh th th this is going to look good on any theme it's just that astra has done some things to make implementing learn dash a lot easier and it's a very good theme anyways uh and then here's a dedicated checkout page here's an about us page that comes with this and let me just keep going through right here is a contact page just a couple mouse clicks and this is all ready to go all you need to do is start customizing it a little a contact page and everything uh, and this is a uh, really cool right here let me uh, just do a quick refresh I wanted to demonstrate what it looks like on a mobile device using Astra and using LearnDash so here's what it is 
uh, when you're in a course, it looks fantastic. And this right here will bring up the lessons. It's all really good. So that is the Astra theme. And I'll tell you that the free version is perfectly fine. They do have a professional version. It doesn't really add a ton of additional options that you would use in Learn Dash. It brings, of course, more options for fonts and colors and styles and things of that nature. But everything I just showed you is completely free. Uh, so it's not going to cost you anything. So, uh, OK, the next one is called uh, e I'm going to pronounce this wrong. The Illumin, the Illumin. Maybe that's it. That's actually a cool, cool word. OK, so Illumin. Uh, here's the page for Illumin. I'll just start off by saying that some of these themes I'm showing you, they have their own distinct style and um, it's going to be up to personal preference. Personally, the Illumin theme isn't my preference from a style perspective, uh, but we're, we have to take a look at it anyway. So here's the Illumin theme and it looks like there's uh, almost 700 people using it. So it's not a massively used theme. Uh, opposed to Astra, which is a general purpose theme, and there's over 300,000 people using it. Um, all right, so you have some interesting changes on the course uh, when the student is there learning. You have some changes there and some changes on the profile pages. So it makes some changes in regards to that. They even have a demo right here. So I'm this is the back end of the demo. Now, this also optionally uses BuddyPress and BBPress to add some kind of social aspects to your website. And that's where you're getting all these menu options right here. Um, let's look at the front end. So here's the front end. So the design for me doesn't do it, but you might really like it. And there's probably certain segments of users that might really like this. OK, but it doesn't quite do it for me. So uh, let's uh, see inside a course. So this is what it looks like inside of a course. And there are some nice things. I think maybe it, they just it just the design doesn't do it, the dark colors and all that kind of stuff. But uh, there is some interesting enhancements to it uh, right in here. Now, uh, actually, am I in a course? Yes, I am in a course. Sorry. Um, and this is a full demo right here. So what's nice that I have this demo so you can go and check it out and play around with it and see if you like it, the front end and the back end of the of the tool. The next one is from Buddy Boss. Now, Buddy Boss makes Social Learner. And I actually did a review on Social Learner two years ago, and I didn't really like it. It's probably I didn't like it for some of the same reasons why I don't like this theme. Uh, there's just seems like there's a lot of moving parts with it uh, and it didn't feel modern anyways. A week ago, Buddy Boss released the Buddy Boss framework and the Buddy Boss theme. And this completely is a, a replacement for the social learner. So I wasn't too fond of social learner, but I fell in love instantly with this boss theme. And as a matter of fact, it got me to open up my wallet and I purchased it right away and started using it. And I'm going to show you all that in a moment. So essentially what this is going to do is it's going to change some of the user interface stuff for Learn Dash, but it also brings the community aspect. It's something I've, I've got to show you in a moment uh, and it will make sense, but it's definitely something to consider. Um, so uh, here is like an example of a student profile. So you don't get that kind of stuff if you're using Astra, which is fine because you might not need it and you might not want it. But if you do want a social aspect, here's an alternative where you can have that. Um, that's just one example. This is really a theme that is widely used, widely trusted, and it's quite interesting. The social learner one, not the, the new one, because the new one's so brand new. Uh, so uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and um, take a look at, this is the dedicated page for this new theme, but what they have that's really nice is they have a demo as well. Let me click right here and check out the demo. I'm going to click on create sandbox. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to log me into the back end of the demo, but it's actually good to see that. So you can kind of compare it with the Illumin theme, uh, which has more feels like it has more going on in the back end. So here's the website it actually logged me into the front end. And so here's the course grid. And I got to say it's beautiful. Now keep in mind when uh, Buddy Boss released this. They said they'd been working on this for two years and I'll tell you why in a moment. But here's the course grid and it's just absolutely beautiful. 
I, I at least I think it's beautiful. We have our uh, avatar here of the instructor. Uh, there's some information here. There's info on the lessons. I really like it. There's sorting options right here. You can sort by instructor. Uh, and there's even a category option. You can change the view of the courses right there. And this is for all the courses, but right here, your student can click on and just see the courses that they happen to be enrolled in. So let's take a look at what it looks like when you're looking at a course index page. I just think this looks great. This is personal. Obviously, you can tell I'm kind of drinking the juice on this theme. Uh, anyways, uh, and I'm going to show you how I've been implementing it. Uh, so this looks good. I like this option box here. Here's the option to start taking the course. You can have your information, your materials. Uh, right here is a list of the lessons. And let's see, it should let me into a lesson when I click right here. Yes, because I'm logged in as the admin. So um, they also have an implementation of the focus mode where it's going to hide all the menu items right here. So here is the course syllabus in the left and here is the course. They should actually have a demo with video in here. I think it would be better. Um, but this is the lesson and I like it. So here's an option on the right. Actually, let me show you a couple options on the right that I think are quite, kind of cool. So right here, if I click on this, it's going to get rid of the, uh, the course syllabus. That's pretty cool. But check this out. This is my favorite feature in it. You can uh, let your students have dark mode. I think just the accessibility of turning on dark mode alone is pretty amazing. I really like that this has these options that you can provide for your students that have spent the money with you to take your courses if you're selling these courses. So why not give them the best experience they can with the options, the most options to make the learning experience tailored to them. Uh, so this is what it looks like when you're inside of a course. I think it's pretty fantastic. Uh, here, let me mark something complete so we can see what visual changes there are. So there we go, and that's taken, and now you can see the progress bar is increasing uh, or going up. Uh, so on my site where I'm implementing it, I've actually hidden the title in this bit right here, and there's actually some options to do that. It's a lot of options. Now, where the, uh, this, this theme excels, though, is the community building aspect. So we already looked at this. This is nice, but you can have linked groups, and you can have linked forums. Now, typically to have this, like with Social Learner, you would have to have two heavy plugins installed. One is called BuddyPress and one is called BBPress, BBPress being for the form. What they did is they spent two years merging all of that into one and optimizing it and simplifying it and just making it so easy. So let me go into the back end here. Now they have this maxed out. I wouldn't have it maxed out, I actually don't. Uh, so they have a lot of stuff in here for you to test. But you'll see, and I'll show you the back end of mine probably, um, you, you won't have all these options. So you could have like optional job listings. I don't have job listings. So then there's less menu items here. So all of the BuddyPress stuff has been folded under this one menu option here, BuddyPress. So I can click right here and I can just enable the components that I want to have enabled on the demo. So you have to have member profiles and profile fields. You can customize the profile fields. I didn't even show you that yet. Uh, but uh, there's account settings on the front end, notifications. You can have any of these activated if you want. Groups, forum discussions, activity feeds, media uploading, private messaging, and it looks beautiful. Uh, member connections, network search, and also email invites. Ironic, I have email invites turned off on mine as well. And then when you enable it, you have the options right here. And then it's rounded up here where the options are for the theme that you happen to be using. Uh, when, duh, it's the Buddy Boss theme is the one you'd be using. So uh, you have that here and you have uh, the various options that you may want for it. Okay, so, but here's the thing. And this is what I love about this theme. Everything is done on the front end. So all those moving parts of going into the right menu and this, that, and other in the back end, you don't even have to worry about that because it's all done on the front end. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And that's what I didn't like about Social Learner. It's probably what I don't feel like I like about the Illumin is everything, I like that it's everything's done on the front end here. So it's a lot less to manage. If you can use Facebook or a Facebook group, you can use this. 
Okay, so here's groups, and this is an optional feature. And uh, so what's gonna do is show me a list of groups right here, and you can have it be where someone enrolls in a course, and then they're automatically added to a group where private group discussions can go on, and there can be a private group forum. And so uh, here I'll just go ahead and click into one of these groups. Here's the custom group. Uh, the groups have members. This one has courses linked to it. Here's an activity feed. So if I have a course and there's a group and I'm gonna put some kind of update to the course, I can just go ahead and post that right here on this activity feed. Or I can also go and have contests and all kinds of interaction that I'm triggering with the students by just going here to the activity feed. I can direct my students to click right here where it says discussions, and this is that link to a user forum. And here it is. Now, there's only one discussion in this demo right here, but if someone wants to leave a or start a forum topic, all they do is click on new discussion, and this nice pop up comes up, and you notice the background kind of faded back a little bit, and you can put a title in, and you can put a topic in an image, you can put an animated GIF, that makes it fun, and emojis. And then the poster can click this box here to be notified when replies come their way and they can also tag it. And I think this way of social interaction and building, adding value to the course through community is compelling. It's definitely something to think about. Okay, and so then there's the overall feed, the courses, Here's the members directory for people that are enrolled in this, uh, that are a part of this group, which if it's linked to a course, you'll see that beautiful member profiles. If you wanted people to be able to connect to each other, uh, and I do think there's some value there. And what's nice is you can click on this manage tab and you can manage all the group settings from right here. The name, the description, the settings, the photos, the cover photos, the members, the courses, the discussion. You can manage all of that right here on the front end, just like when you're using Facebook. It's so easy to use, okay? So that is the groups, and there's an overall activity feed. So if I hover here to community and click on activity, this is the overall activity feed, so you can set up these sidebars, and this is where the entire community can go and share whatever is going on with them as it relates to the courses in the community that you're building. Here's the overall members directory. Uh, I don't know, I don't have a stance yet on members being able to contact each other. I do think it's probably good if you're trying to build a tribe. Okay, and then here's the forums section, and this is beautiful. There's this search option right here, and it has uh, like an Ajax search, you see that? So I'm typing and it's pulling up content and it's, you see that right there? That is really cool. The search functionality alone is fantastic. But someone can click in here and go straight to the group if they want. Now what's nice is, oh and down here, I'm sorry, is a list of all the discussions that someone has access to and you can see the group uh, that it's linked into or the forum that it's linked into with this badge. It just looks beautiful, beautiful and modern and it's so super easy to set up. Now what's interesting is you don't need all of the components enabled if you want this to be a little lighter. So on my website, the Academy website I'm building, I turned off groups because I don't need it. Uh, but I didn't turn off forums. I like the forums and I want people communicating in forums, but not necessarily those groups. And it's very easy to do that. Okay, a couple other things. You can do some blog styling here. There's some integrations with Event Calendar Pro, WP Job Manager, if you wanted to turn it into a job board, and also a, a really nice looking WooCommerce integration. I'm using, of course, cart flows with it. So if I click right here, you're gonna see, it's got a really nice looking uh, WooCommerce integration. So I might use this for some uh, swag, but swag is an old person's term, it's now merch. So I'll probably have a bit of a merch store going on. Um, okay, and then uh, the job manager. Heck, I mean, this would make an amazing job board. Uh, look how nice they did the job board. I mean, the styling job that they did on this is fantastic. It just looks fantastic. So here's a job. You can click on it, and you can see the job post listing right here. It just looks beautiful. I mean, it looks really, really good. This would rank up there with some of those job board themes uh, any day of the week. Okay, and then what's nice is on the side here, 
you have uh, your, well, the person logged in has some options. So if they click on the arrow of their name, it's just gonna really show a lot of the stuff that's right here. And this is actually optional, this bar right here on the left, you don't have to have that. Okay, now here's a search, and I love the way the search works here. So watch this. So I type coffee in, it's gonna show me a list of things. And then when I hit enter, or actually view all, sorry, I click view all, Check this out, look, look at the, the interface. So if you have different types of content on your website, like blog posts, forum discussions, replies, groups, all that kind of stuff, it kind of breaks the search results down. So it, it makes it easy for someone to find what they're looking for. I really like that. Okay, um, then right here is messages. So when I click on it, there's no messages here, but check this out. If you want, you can allow your students to communicate with each other and look how nice the personal messages look. So I can go here and I can just message someone directly and it's not a back end thing of WordPress, it's all front end. It's like you install it and now you got Facebook on your site. Uh, it's a beautiful social networking integrated with learning management. Okay, and then right here we have notifications. So there's all sorts of different things that can trigger a notification if someone's mentioned, uh, someone's responded to some question you asked, there's all types of not notifications. I actually got to show you something really cool about notifications. And then you have this optional shopping cart. I actually took that shopping cart out uh, for me. Notifications, oh my gosh, you've got to see this. They have the most beautiful email notifications. So you get the notification there, but hey, this is not Facebook. Someone's not gonna be sitting on your website. They're gonna be off someplace else. So um, you need to be able to email notifications. Check this out, this is really cool. So let me see if I remember where it is. Buddy Boss, emails, and then it's gonna show me all these uh, email templates. And I'm hoping, uh, let's see, and I can have a new email. Let's see, this actually might not be what I wanted. I wanted to show you the style of this. I saw the style of this and it just looks amazing. I think I have to go into the customizer to show you. It just looks amazing, these templates that they put together. I'm probably just clicking in the wrong spot. And the theme allows you to do something, not everything, but some things in the customizer, which I like. That was one of the things I didn't like about Social Learner. Um, so we have some styling that we're able to do here. Okay, Buddy Boss platform. That was what I was looking for. Buddy Boss emails. Okay, so check this out. This is really cool. Um, this is the email template right here. And I can put my logo in. So when an email gets sent out, it'll show your logo here. Uh, right here to show the name of the person you're sending it to. Uh, and then it will show their avatar if you have their avatar in, in or they've uploaded an image for their profile. And here's the message in this beautiful modern interface. So, and you can change everything. So header, I can put my logo, I can change some colors around, but this this looks as modern and professional as they come. Uh, I don't I don't know what, they were thinking when they did this, but this was uh, really impressive to me. Uh, okay, so you could tell I'm really liking this product already. So let me give you some of the negatives or things you want. I don't think it's negatives, but just some things you want to consider before doing this. This might be a bit more taxing on your hosting account. So if you want to use shared hosting, you're probably going to want to use Astra. Uh, it's going to work great on the shared hosting. And this can be okay on the shared hosting, but you're really gonna wanna have something more powerful like a VPS or my favorite host that I personally use is Cloudways and it's kind of like a VPS, but it's a lot more affordable and it's a lot faster and easier to manage. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description box to a review and tutorial on how to use Cloudways. So if you wanted to do something like this, you're gonna definitely want that. Let me show you the site I'm working on. This is totally, totally unfinished. Uh, but I'm probably gonna launch it in a few days with one course. You can see these courses here where it says private. Uh, these only I can see because I'm the admin. But you can see it looks a lot like the demo, right? So here's a list of the courses. Instead of calling them courses, I call them accelerators. Uh, and you can see them here. And here's what a course index page looks like when I click here. Uh, there it is. And uh, I actually asked them if they can make this sticky. Check it out when you slide down. They made that sticky for me. Uh, so anyways, and I've got my list of lessons here and it's all set up. Obviously, I need to add the background image, some bits of information here or there, but this is pretty much gonna be ready to go. Uh, it's looking fantastic and I like how it's coming out. Here's what my activity feed, I'm debating whether I wanna have an activity feed. 
I hid the title so that this could all be lined up here at the top. I did that with some CSS. And you can see right here is a post that I made. Uh, tell me that's not cool. Uh, having people be able to go here, do their animated GIFs because it integrates with that Jiffy or, or whatever. Um, and uh, right here we have emojis. It just it just looks really good. And you can post a YouTube video link and it pulls in the, the video straight on in. I just think it's amazing. You can mention other people and they'll get tagged on it. Uh, remember how I said I'm not doing groups? So right here you can see it says forums. And uh, I'm still implementing this. Um, so right here, WordPress Accelerator, this is going to be an open forum that I make available just to anyone uh, in the public. Um, so, oh, and here's the dashboard. This looks so nice. So it takes the dashboard styling of LearnDash and it changes it around a little bit. Uh, and here's all the courses. And then I also put in the short code for WooCommerce. So then here's the WooCommerce stuff. So they even made the WooCommerce stuff look pretty nice. Uh, there as well. So uh, this is how far I've gotten uh, implementing this and I am pretty excited to see what happens. Now I, I, I haven't used this with heavy traffic or under load or anything like that. I'm going to be finding that out pretty soon how this performs when there's actual activity going on. Uh, so there's a type of caching you're able to use on Cloudway is called Redis and I'm using Redis and it does some caching for me. Okay, uh, one thing I didn't go over is the cost. This is not a cheap solution. Actually, I don't think it's expensive either for what it is. To, when I saw the price, I said, I'm just buying it. It's no big deal at all. So uh, it obviously comes with a lot more. And for me, what's most important is getting support. Okay, so what it is is right here. For a single site, it's $228. Although I think I'm going to upgrade to this 288 so I can install it on more than one web website. And I'm considering moving my WP Crafter over to this. Um, but this is the cost. Now, you know, on my website, you see all these courses and I've got these prices on these courses. But if you've been around on this channel long enough, you know, I do this thing where if you you buy something through a referral link, if I'm going to earn some money, I, I I sweeten it up for you. So uh, a lot of these courses, I, I mostly end up giving away to people and enrolling them for free. So when people have been buying LearnDash, I've been putting them in this course. Um, uh, if you bought Buddy Boss, I'll give you uh, a course. I'll put it together an offer for you to put you in a course for that as well. Um, so uh, that's why I'm doing this is to have a separate home for all these courses and put a good effort on courses and selling courses. So uh, anyways, these I know this video is way longer, uh, but I, I wanted to go into detail on these themes. And I want you to first know that even though there's this thing called the shiny object syndrome that we all suffer from, first try LearnDash with your theme because you might not need to switch. Why go through all the effort of switching? But if it's a fresh new site, you might want to consider if you don't need the social aspects, you might want to consider the Astra theme. And then if you do want some of these social aspects to, to create a social um, environment around your courses where students are adding to the value through the community, then you might want to consider the buddy boss. And those are the two directions I would go. Now, like I said, the choice that I went with is the buddy boss theme. And I've been setting it up and it's been quite easy. So you don't be surprised if you see a full setup tutorial video hit the channel soon. So anyways, that's all that I have for you in this video. I want to know what you think in the comment section down below, which one of these themes made was interesting to you. I know there's a big heavy debate whether you can get community on your site versus Facebook. Some people feel it it's hard to build a community on your site versus Facebook. But then I believe that it's better to have the community on your website where people aren't being pushed ads for your competitors and things of that nature. And there's additional distractions to have a completely focused area for social and for learning. Anyways, that's all that I have for you in this video. Hey, if you enjoyed it, please give this a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, subscribe, notification bell, all that kind of good stuff. And I'll see you in the tutorial video tomorrow. I'll put a link down below to that, the full setup video for LearnDash. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.